we are ready to start. I think it's day six already, isn't it? I can't believe that. Day six already. So let me just get up and go to my chair. I think the Yui Boom will be ready to go. I'll bring that over just in case. Okay, sitting on your chairs, nice and tall. I might just move this around a little bit because if people walk in the door, you're going to see them and I don't want you to see people walking in the door. That'll be better. You can see, you're just catching the edge of my oven. There's an old arga there. You're fabulous. Anyway, now I'm a little bit skewy, but that's it. I'll straighten it up a bit more. Look together. That will do. That will do. We don't have to be perfect. All right, let's start. Sitting up nice and tall on your chairs now. I don't know whether white is the best, best colour to wear, but that's it. I've got it on now. So we're sitting up nice and tall. We're sitting on our sit bones and forward and up. I'll go over the Alexander technique again, just so you are familiar with it. You're, every time I say it, it'll just go in. It'll go in and in the end, it'll just be automatic. You'll thank me one day, hopefully. <laughs> so sitting up nice and tall, allow the neck to be free. Allow the weight to go forward and up. Now when I say forward and up, I, I probably exaggerated my movement then. It's just more the feeling of lifting forward and upwards, like you're about to move, move into space. About Allow the back to lengthen. Allow the back to widen. Allow the shoulders to fall apart. Allow the hips to release. I haven't had a coffee today. I just realised that. Is it safe for me to do this when I haven't had a coffee? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how clear my thoughts are. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a slow warm up to some music that I've picked out for you, which I just told you about, by Scott Buckley. And so if Facebook is watching this, I'm allowed to use Scott Buckley's music. Check out his website. All right. It's working. I always love it when it works. Okay, everybody's back in now. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Let's bring our arms up. We'll go to the white buttons. I've, we've done this a few times now, so you're probably becoming familiar with this arm movement. When you're doing this, I want you to feel like you've got a water fountain going up your spine, pushing the water upwards. me I might look like I'm leaning back I'm not actually it's just I noticed that it's just the angle of the camera backs of the hands together lift up lift into it if you can't take your arms up that high just go where you can if it's here that's fine or even if it's here or here just do what you can and now we're going to just swing one arm around just as high as you can, other arm up. See how I'm not altering my body? Just moving the arm by itself. A lot of the things we're learning are actually very much isolation exercises. It's learning to isolate that part of the movement that you're doing. No, I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? I'll have you looking 
like the dying swan in no time. <laughs> or the black swan. Did you see that movie? It's good. outwards, keeping the back still, just as high as you can go, then the other way. Who else is that? Simone, hi Simone, I haven't seen you for ages. And we did two arms. Now remember, the idea is we're not moving the body. Now. I'm going to tell you about something, just hold tight. I will just, all right. So now we're going to look at scapular stabilization. Please don't get scared off by that. All it means is core for the shoulders. And we really need that when we move into using our arms in ballet. Because if you don't have that, they just look crap basically and it stands out like a sore thumb once you can see that somebody's not doing it. So what we're going to do now is an exercise, as I said this is kind of a, a more of a toning type class today. It'll be a little bit more slow or it'll be a bit slower and with a little bit more concentration but you can you can do it. I know you can do it. All right so put your feet slightly apart. We're going to this top does not look good, but I know now, I won't wear it again. <laughs> we're going to, with our thumbs in an upward position, we're going to keep sitting up on our chairs, sitting on our sit bones, lifting up nice and tall. We're not lifting our shoulders, obviously. Feeling as though you've got that water fountain going up your spine, pushing the water upwards, coming out the top of your spine, and feel that lifted feeling and it's not a tense feeling, it's a lifted, it's an actively lifting feeling that has a, a, it has a really lovely balance of relaxation in it. Because actually in the Alexander Technique, it is active lengthening through relaxation. So as it's active, you, you are working. are getting a bit tied up and that's because I haven't had a coffee. Silly me. Why did I forget a coffee at five o'clock? I still haven't had a coffee. What am I doing? Anyway, so get the arms coming up and down. Now I know there's somebody in here I think I've shown this movement to. And I think that might be Gay. If she's still there. Yeah, Gay. I think I might have shown you this. Okay, so remember the Alexander Technique. I'll quickly run through it because some of you weren't on. Allow the neck to be free. Allow the weight to go forward and up as if you're, you're as if you're about to move forward, not to be leaning forward. It's just that feeling of moving forward, like I'm about to take a step forward. Allow the back to lengthen and really feel the vertebrae in the back lengthening. Allow the back to widen. And feel that in your body. How do you feel in your body? <laughs> Allow, that's what. That's a joke about psychologists. Sorry, I'm not offending any psychologists though. <laughs> I love psychologists. Allow the shoulders to fall apart. Now really just let them fall apart. We're not doing shoulders back because we don't want that. Forget about that. That was the olden days. Allow the shoulders to fall apart. Allow the hips to release. So any tension you're feeling in your lower back, just let that melt away. So now we're going to do this arm movement. Now, you know where your scapula are? 
That's the wing bones. That's those two little wing bones here, you know? So, you're going to, just to find where they are, just squeeze them together. So you've got, so you've worked out where they are. Now, you don't want to squeeze them together for this exercise. What we want to do is we want to draw them down. Some of you, I'm this person, but I know some of the things I do cross a lot of different health modalities and I know there's one exercise they do in Pilates that does use something like this. So we're drawing the, the scapulae down, the shoulder blades are coming down, not the shoulders. It's the, scap, it's the wing bones that are leading this. So they're drawing down and as they're drawing down, you're lifting up. So you're not sinking with it, you're lifting up as those wing bones are drawing down. And as you do that, you'll feel your back working. Now, at the same time, as our wing bones are drawing down and we're lifting up through our spine, we're going to let our arms be so effortless, they look like they're being supported by air. The shoulders are asleep. Thumbs in an upward position. Don't make them too wide, just about, mine look wider than shoulder width, but I've got no shoulders, so about shoulder width. And then as you bring the arms down, keep drawing the scapulae down. Now, some of you might have already felt a bit of the working of your upper back. You know, the bit that gets rounded as we get older, that's the bit we're working. That's the bit we want to iron out. So we'll just do that once again. Wing bones drawing down, lifting up through the spine, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up with the scapulae drawing down. And they go a little bit higher. Now just hold the arms there. Hold them there and keep doing those things. Wing bones going down. Lifting up through the spine. And hold it there until you can feel it. It takes a little longer for some people. And then arms coming down. And as they come down, you're growing taller. It's something that happens with movement when you're using technique, you feel that there's an oppositional movement happening. So we'll do that with music. Wasn't that fun? That's scapular stabilization. So just to show you in context how you would use that, if you're gonna pick something up off a shelf, you'll see a lot of people go like this. Yeah. You don't need to do that, do you? It's not a shoulder exercise. And this way you can protect your shoulders. So hopefully this will be useful. And hopefully it'll be a little bit fun too. We don't want to make it too boring. So I'll just go back a little bit and we might try this music now. Oh, very smooth. Very nice, Scott. Thank you. that when I went up, before I changed direction, there was just the tiniest lift before you come down. 
and that changes the whole shape of the, mu the movement. <coughs> All right, so now you've done that, I think I better give you something else to do before I go back to working on the arms, otherwise you'll go, oh, this is too hard, Gina. I don't want to make it too hard. I want to make it fun as well. So the piece I'm going to choose now is called Childhood. So it should be fun. Just follow me. some random thing. Hmm. Okay, we'll go back to childhood. It must have been an ad, I think. I hate it when the music stops. I had one session, I don't know whether you were here, and the music cut out. That was it. I had to just do it without the music. That's all right, the show must go on. Okay, so we're going to lift and lean back, but not arching the whole back. This is just the upper body. So if I were to go side on for you, you see that I'm here and it's just this part. 
at all. You're not doing this. You're just bending from here. So we'll, we'll do this. Turn the head and just tilt to the side just with the upper body. Turn to the side. Tilt with just the upper body. you're working now when we say lift up they used to say chest out well yes that it's good to lift the chest but just make sure you're not arching here all right so it's a balance of a couple of things isn't it anyway now we're going to do ballet arms this is the first time we'll do it not the only time because it's quite hard so take the arms out in front now they should be just a tiny bit lower than the shoulders. All right, got that? And now open them out. We're going to do small ballet arms to start with. Just take your arms out on a diagonal so that you're about 30 degrees forwards from the sides of your body. And now this is the tricky part. So I might have to just move over so you can see one of my arms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this upper arm and turn the forearm but in the process I I'm going to turn half one way half the other so you're here and you're going to externally rotate this part of your arm and internally rotate the, the upper arm see how it makes that light look they're really working you really see the muscles I can see the lack of tone in my arms but then at my age that's just inevitable well I suppose if I worked out every day that might not be inevitable but that hasn't been the case so so you'll see a lot of people doing this when they're doing ballet but really they're not using their arms fully so if you hold that position your arms will get tired so let's just do this again we're going to take our arms up 30 degrees forward of either side of your body, not higher than your shoulders, so just a little bit higher than your shoulders. Now, externally rotate the forearm, internally rotate the upper arm, and don't close, close the shoulders. So you've got a few things going on. And then when you're there, draw the scapulae down. Anybody tell me that that's not a major workout? Well, I eat my hat. If I had a hat, I would eat it. I've got a hat somewhere. <laughs> oh, can you feel that? All right, let's do that with the music. That is, tell me in the comments if you find that you can really feel that in your arms. If you can't feel anything, I need to be a better teacher <laughs> because that one is a really great workout. All right, let's put some music on. I think we'll use, this one's called Snowfall. So it's been a bit slower today, hasn't it? But meaningful. Okay. And so, see how my arms are as though they are on, they could be resting on a table. They wouldn't rest on a table flat if they were like that, would they? So, the forearms externally rotate and the upper arms internally rotate and the shoulders are nice and open across the front. There's none of this. So there's a lot going on. And now allonge without altering the upper arms and bring them down. All right, just shake them out a bit. We'll do that again.
cold. I can see, I mean, I lose technique too, you know. I can see myself, so I'm correcting. We'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
and so now what I'd like you to do before I go if you have I said this already if you have any aches or pains and you'd like to work on something in particular just let me know oh Simone's waving to me hi Simone hi Tiny um, yeah let me know because I'll make up something specifically for you and we'll, we'll even make the class about you well we won't tell them that if you don't want me to uh, but, you know, I, I'm happy to work out exercises to help you with anything slumping. But that's because I'm leaning forward. So I enjoyed today. It was a little bit of a different pace. But thank you for being here. Thank you for staying until the end. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.